Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this segment, we're going to answer a question. Can you have a different collision on different databases in a SQL Server instance, in a single SQL Server instance? To answer this question, yes, we can. And let me show you how. We're going to go ahead and minimize this. And we're going to open up uh, the Management Studio. And we're going to connect with the uh, SQL Server instance name where you wanted to have a different collision on different databases. So go ahead and click connect. Expand the databases. I have two user databases. One is sales and other is test DB. Let's look at the collision first uh, of, of sales and uh, test DB. We're going to go ahead and right click on the database. Click properties. Click on options. And first thing we see is collation. So notice that it's a SQL Latin 1 general CP1 CIAS. So this is uh, the sales DB. So we're going to go ahead and leave that open. And let's look at the test DB. Look at options. And this is CP1 CIAS. Both have the same collision. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and change the test DB collision. So let's uh, select CP1 CSAS. Remember, uh, previously it's a CIAS. We're going to go ahead and do it CSAS. So let's click that. Okay. It accepted our options. So we're going to go ahead and click on properties, go to options, and let's look both of them side by side. So if you look at it, CP1 CSAS, and here is the sales, CP1 CI underscore AS. So yes, to answer this question, we can have a different collision of the databases on a single server, um, different, different collisions. So uh, I hope this helps.